everyone, my name is Michael. Welcome back to Sharp Star Astro. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a picture of the planet Saturn with my telescope. So this summer I've done a lot of planetary astrophotography, taking pictures of Jupiter and Saturn because they are recently at opposition. But tonight, even though Saturn and Jupiter are past opposition, I'm going to try to take a picture of the planet Saturn. Because I've spent a lot of time this summer imaging Jupiter. By the way, Jupiter is my favorite planet, but I haven't spent a lot of time photographing Saturn. So hopefully tonight on this crystal clear Sunday evening, that's all going to change. Since my yard is totally surrounded by trees, I have to put my telescope in a specific place in my yard, which is really close to the road, and and there's only actually like a tiny gap that I can see Saturn in my whole yard. So that's that is an inconvenience, and it does limit my time on photographing Saturn. But hopefully, I'll be able to catch that time right when it clears the trees over there in that part of the sky, which is actually right when it gets dark. So for tonight's shoot, I'm going to be using this telescope right here. It's my Celestron Edge HD 8-inch telescope, and it's taken my best pictures of Jupiter and the planet Uranus that I recently um, made a video on. So I'm going to be using the ZWO ASI 224MC color camera to take a photo of Saturn. And I'm hoping, since the scene conditions should be good tonight, to be able to get the Cassini division. I'm going to be using uh, SharpCap um, software to capture the video files of Saturn. I have a website that I look on to see um, high pressure systems moving over my area and usually when high pressure systems do move over my area that's when best nights of seeing usually occur and tonight's one of those nights and it falls on a Sunday evening so hopefully um, when the Sun goes down I'll be able to start capturing video files of Saturn. If you can see over there, right behind those trees over there, is the bright moon rising. That's one of the reasons why I picked planetary imaging tonight, um, because I don't really want to do deep sky when the moon is out. So here we are back, guys, with the planet Saturn live through my telescope. You can see Saturn right there on the computer screen. And the scene conditions are, are pretty good. They're fairly good, but I was expecting a little better. But maybe as the night goes on, the scene conditions will get better. I'm hoping usually that's the case as the night um, goes on, scene conditions do get, get better. But I'm happy right here that I actually did get the planet Saturn. I can see some of the Cassini division there, and um, right now I'm currently taking uh, video files of it. I'm not going to take too many video files because these do store um, up a lot of space on my computer hard drive. But there it is, there is Saturn right there. So I can see Jupiter uh, pretty close to Saturn nearby but I'm not going to be photographing this and I'm just going to stick with Saturn hopefully get as many video files as possible so I can take the video files that the atmosphere was most still and then stack those. Wow, that's a bad scene right there. <laughs> that's bad. I don't know what that was. Okay, hopefully it's clearing up. Wow. So I don't think I'll be using this video, but I hopefully will be able to get some other videos of Saturn that look a lot clearer. But um, that concludes my video here of photographing the planet Saturn. I hope the image at the end of the video looks fairly good. And until next time, everyone, clear skies.